Uh, in my last video, I was talking about eight sets of uh, 800 foot uh, by 800 foot uh, generators, which may, would make the radius 400 feet. Um, so you have eight sets. Let's say uh, these are your eight sets, and you combine that energy through the commutator into a uh, uh, motor armature, either your rotor coil armature or your alternator armature to a, a motor. Um, so you turn the motor and then that giant motor uh, turns a generator. So um, now you have a large uh, generator source um, that would be uh, 800 feet times 8 generators. So that would be um, 6,400 I think uh, or close to that number of uh, a foot generator. Um, that you built so you would uh, basically have to have a 6,400 foot motor to turn this 6,400 foot um, AC generator so divide 6,400 by 2 and you'll get your radius so you could keep adding and adding and making more uh, larger powers I'm not really sure too much because I've never really tried but uh, how, how far you could uh, add add your uh, electricity I'm sure you could make a lot of different inventions um, so I'm going to just con continue and, and explain more of uh, some of this spark, Tesla coil spark stuff. I feel like it's kind of like a Tesla ray. If you've ever heard of the Tesla death ray, I don't want to call it the death ray, but I'm just going to call it the, the Tesla ray. And uh, so you have uh, here in my drawing, I didn't uh, mention too much um, detail. I kind of missed a couple parts, so I'm going to explain it real fast. So you're going to have a motor that turns a generator. Um, the generator uh, external circuit is connected to a Tesla coil so um, as the uh, motor turns the generator the generator makes energy from the permanent magnets the energy is going to be transferred to the Tesla coil the Tesla coil is uh, with uh, center x-axis horizontal alignment to the generator shaft and it moves with the uh, external circuit so as it's moving it's sparking out energy and it sparks to this other moving target but this Tesla coil is of a, a step up voltage uh, times three step up voltage so it'll step up your vo volts by three and it'll cut your, your it'll devise your amps by three but you'll have a large spark so uh, here's your spark gap your, your sparks can go from one Tesla uh, coil to the Tesla coil step down three steps receiver coil so it's going to take the energy and convert it back uh, by d devising the, uh, the voltage by 3 and multiplying the amps by 3. So your voltage is going to be converted back. But the spark is going to be a very large lightning spark and is going to be uh, captured by the solar panel box. So the solar panels are going to uh, capture the illuminated light and be an output source. So this uh, second uh, Tesla coil receiver is going to um, should be connected to a motor. I have it. I have here is a generator shaft, but I missed a part where the Tesla coil receiver should have been inputted to the armature coils of of the uh, or outputted to. I'll say uh, here's the input, not the toroid, and at the base your output is going to be connected to a motor armature or a rotor armature of a motor so that the motor will uh, have energy to spin and then that spinning energy will go to the uh, generator shaft which will turn the external circuit which will make energy so all I'm missing is the motor really right here and the motor at the beginning um, this is a double right here so I have a single where it's just a, a one I don't have the motor so you say motor you got your generator housing which um, the motor turns the generator shaft and the generator shaft turns the external circuit and the external circuit is connected to the Tesla coil and the Tesla coil sparks out to this other stationary AC Tesla coil and that's in, uh, in that uh, output and the output of the return energy goes back into the motor so that the cycle can continue um, then your spark also has uh, you know a spark gap and uh, solar panels around the spark with a solar panel enclosure uh, so that the uh, 
solar panels can uh, be an output. So uh, also this is a uh, single ear, so you just have one motor and one generator. This is the double, which is basically what I explained up here, where you have uh, two generators and two motors. And here's a line. So the line is just adding. Uh, you have generator, motor, generator, uh, Tesla coil, uh, lightning spark, and a solar panel. The Tesla coil. I didn't add a motor, but let's say we add a motor. Motor turns a uh, generator external circuit. Not external circuit. Uh, um, has a attached. Uh, uh, Tesla coil and that Tesla coil sends energy to the next uh, motor and that motor turns the next um, um, generator. It could go into the stator winding or most likely it should be part of um, the uh, the energy should be part of uh, the motor should turn the generator uh, external circuit so it's a line so you could have three generators and and the spark will continue like in a line so you have your single your double and then this this one has three generators and three motors or you could have four generators and four motors but you could keep going in a line okay um so here's the back of this uh this is more just some rough ideas of passing energy from a uh, place to place say you um uh, shot energy through uh, a uh, um, through a motor let's say even somehow you could uh, 